Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I've been dueling this guy like 212 times. Most of them been S ranks and A ranks, well, S pow and A pow. Remember, S tech gives you a greater chance of strong spell and trap cards. 212 times I dueled him. Zero Meteor B Dragons. 123 wins against him. Zero Meteor B Dragons. But on the 123rd win, I actually got a Red Eyes Black Dragon. I keep being told that you can get a Meteor B Dragon from Jono, the second duel as well. And so far, I haven't got that either. Don't try to S tag Jono second, because I don't think he ever fuses anything. Just thought I'd let you know. Maybe he fuses, like, equip cards, but I've never seen him do it the last time I tried. So, with that, I put my Red Eyes Black Dragon in my deck, because I'm not an idiot. And why don't we try the Meadow Shrine again? And if I fail, we can always go to the next shrine, which would be C Shrine. Yep, so as you can see, the Red Eyes Black Dragon is in my deck. If only I had a regular Meteor Dragon, I'd be doing so much better. Actually, there is one thing I forgot to do, and that's use my Star Chips to buy a Bright Castle. Because it gives you 500 attack points and defense points to any monster you equip it to. If I had known that, I would have done that first. I guess we'll have to do it without. I bet you that's a Millennium Shield. Knowing my luck, it'll be there. Alright, well, let me use this as a dummy. Yep, I knew it. I would get unlucky for him to get Millennium Shield turn one. He's like, well, you should have got that Bright Castle. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can't really just be faulted for not doing something if I forgot to do it. <laughs> It would be like if I never knew to do it at all. Come on, he's got to attack with at least one monster. Okay, guilty of the D-Knight won't fall to my Skull Knight. I got so many ways to fuse in a twin and a Thunder Dragon, but I don't want to use them yet. It'd be pointless for me to try now, if I still cannot beat that Millennium Shield. Because I'd run the risk of being defeated by his Sun cards and his Uranus cards. Okay, looks like he's loading himself with a lot of equip cards. Uh, looks like I ain't got much of a choice now. So yeah, let's do it. Let's get ourselves a Twin and a Thunder Dragon ready. I mean, worst case scenario, it gets destroyed on the very first turn. Oh yeah, I forgot I had Chrome open. I just saw I got a Facebook message for Canada Day. That's thoughtful. Can't really answer that right now. But I will later. Alright, maybe you'll bite the Dark Magician. Try it. I dare ya. Until I get Yami or Mountain, I can't do anything against that Millennium Shield. Oh my god, that back row is looking real tight. Oh my god, this is getting ridiculous, guys. I don't know what else to do. I gotta dump something out. Like, my front row is full. Remember, you have to play a card every turn. Well, that's what it gets you to actually take life point damage. I'm okay with that. Oh my god, I'm still not getting the cards I need. Uh, no, not this one. I'll go with this one. This is gonna take four friggin' ever, I can just tell. I can't fathom, like, what's gonna happen if he summons a monster that's willing to attack and all three of these equip cards can go towards it. Yep, see, that's what I was worried about. 
Because if I put it in Moon, I gotta worry about Guilty of the D-Knight and Judge Man. If I put it in Pluto, not only can I not defeat the Millennium Shield in, like, even the Mountain Zone, but I gotta worry about Empress Judge. So I pretty much can't win. So this is not actually gonna be my longest duel against a Metal Mage. And that's despite getting getting a new Red Eyes Black Dragon. Okay, he actually bit one of my attack mode monsters. Um, Guy of the Fierce Knight is actually not terrible. So I'll put you down here. Okay, we, we should be good for now. I don't think he has any monsters that can beat Gaia the Fierce Knight. Okay, we're willing his field down a little bit more. Oh, there is my Red Eyes Black Dragon, but it's no good to use it now. Until I get a Meteor Dragon, it's just gonna serve as Twinited Thunder Dragon fusion fodder. That's all it can be. No, not this one. I'll go with Bolt Penguin. Oh, that's just gonna give me regular Thunder Dragon now that I think about it. Well, I'm a dumb. And still not attacking. This is so weird. Don't make me do this. I'm just gonna set it down. Still nothing. Alright. In my turn again. You know, I should have, like, tried to fuse it right there. Yeah, it's too late now. Oh, that's what I needed. Good. Okay, I can't lay that down yet. I'm gonna wait till I actually get a Twin and a Thunder Dragon on the field, and then I'm gonna do this. Because what if he changed it back on the very next turn? Then I got no way to attack him. Oh, I got two mountain cards now. Oh, that's real nice. Look, I'm pretty much just gonna get a D-Pow for this. If I still get a Red Eyes, no, not Red Eyes, a Meteor B-Dragon, which, let's face it, it's probably impossible. I will just shit myself. And probably infuriatingly as well, because, you know, I've been trying, like, so many S ranks and A ranks to get a Meteor B Dragon, but it's a D rank that gets it for me. I know it's impossible, but still. Dare to dream, I suppose. Oh yeah, Celtic Guardian, that's utter crap. It's like, they exclude the A and S rank cards from the D and C pool. But why do you put the D and C cards in the A and S pool? I hate that. Blah, 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 I've heard you talk before. You know, your, your face almost looks like a downward pointing triangle. Now that I think about it. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, what's not going to be funny is if I lose again, and lose badly. So, let's try not to lose badly. This does not help me, because none of these are dragons. Well, Dark Magician it is. Come on. Don't attack me with something too fierce. Ah, oh, a Millennium Shield with 4,000 attack points! God, even if I get the setup I want, I can't beat that! Jesus, what am I gonna do? Uh, just stall for time. Kinda wish he put that Millennium Shield in attack mode like an idiot, but I don't think he's gonna. Come on, 
hook me up with something real good. Like, even if it's a dark hole, I'll use it. That's weird. He did not attack. Alright, I gotta start dumping some cards badly. Okay, I think the best thing for me to do is just go for my giant soldier stone, and I can fuse them faster. Like, if I do this, it'll become Stone D, then Black Dragon, Jungle King, then Twin Thunder Dragon. I feel good about that. That means I'm gonna get to my Dark Hole faster. He left that on attack mode, so I'm not confident attacking that. Because Gate Guardian has the Moon star sign. And that's Moon. Nope, that's a Black Skull Dragon. That's still just as bad. Okay, this is just what I needed. Okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna give him time to, to bring in another monster. Because he won't attack with Millennium Shield. Therefore, my life points are safe. Uh, one more time. I don't feel good that it's an electric monster, but I got no choice. Okay, that's another Black Skull Dragon. And that's probably a Harpy's Pet Dragon. Alright, bye Felicia's. There, all fields are empty. I think I cleared out a lot of his strong monsters. You know what? That's okay. It's just a regular red eyes. I can easily beat that. There, I'll just use Guy the Fierce Knight. But now I'm at the position where I gotta win this as fast as possible. Okay, he's defending. That's right, because he's because Mercury beats Sun. This might be the opening I need. Dear God, am I am I actually gonna do this? If he goes another turn without attacking, I could have a very strong chance. Oh my God, guys, the thing is going to be done. We might actually do the thing. All I need is for this to not mess up. I can attack with pretty much any monster I want. Oh my god, we're finally gonna beat this guy. And I did not have a Meteor B-Dragon or a Bright Castle. Holy shit, it's been done! We did it! We actually won! A Petite Dragon! Wow. So, this is the power of light. Oh, jeez, that face. Haishin, my lord, I have failed you. I want to say like he has an allergic reaction. Oh, and I got the Millennium Eye from him. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to go back and save my game. Because I don't want to go through all that crap again. I don't know how I managed to win that duel, but I'm glad I did. Okay, what is the thing I wanted to do again? Oh yeah. Well, I already saved, so let's leave the campaign. And then we'll go into the password system. And I want a bright castle. So it's 8, 2, 8. Oh, yeah, I almost lost my spot there. 7, 8, 4, 8, 9. I have 2,054 star chips. And that actually only costs 800. I'm a bit surprised. Because Bright Castle goes with pretty much anything. Oh, apparently you can only enter a password once. No, I want to press circle. There you go. Thank you, GameFAQs. 
Alright, so what do I want to take out? I hardly ever use Crimson Sunbird anymore. So let's get rid of that. And put in the Bright Castle. Gives 500 points to all monsters. Megamorph would obviously be better because that's 1,000 to all monsters. However, that costs 50,000 points. So yeah, we're not getting a Megamorph that way anytime soon. You know, there's a card shop. Why can't I just buy cards from him? Like, that makes no sense. Okay. Next up is the Sea Shrine. You're finally here. I'm afraid I can't let you enter the Sea Shrine. It is our duty to protect the Millennium Items, the source of our mystic power. This Sea Shrine will be your place of eternal rest. Prepare to lose. Yeah, it's just the Metal Mage and the Sea Mage actually have the same sprite, but they're a different color. That's a little lazy, but oh well. Okay, we never fought on the sea before. So, Sea Serpents, Fishes, and Thunder Monsters will get a power bonus. So, that means Twin and a Thunder Dragon will also get a power bonus. That makes me happy. I think he has a Twin and a Thunder Dragon as well, but without fusing. Wait, I used Pluto, didn't I? Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Let me use Guy the Fierce Knight to try to see what it is. The Boulder Tortoise. Uh, no, I can actually still beat that. Boulder Tortoise doesn't have strong attack power, but it's very high in defense. I bet you that's another one. Alright, just in case. Let's set this one to Moon. Alright, now we're in a strong position to get some wins in. Yep, it was another Boulder Tortoise. He ain't turtly enough for the Turtle Club. Now he's down. Alright, this is pretty much going to be your last move. Is it another Boulder Tortoise? I bet you it's another boulder tortoise. That sounds pretty lazy. There, I got two sets of twins. It was another boulder tortoise. Wow. That guy was an absolute letdown. <laughs> he just got smoked. Excuse me? And answering on that guy's a Zaragun? That's terrible! No! It cannot be! You weren't meant to win! Sekmeton! Forgive me! Whatever, let's take him on too. I am the High Mage Sekmeton. Since time immemorial, it has been our duty to protect the Millennium Items. And we shall never allow them to fall into your hands. Prepare to face my sea deck. Prepare to meet your doom. You shall pay dearly for your folly. Uh, no I won't because I actually grinded to get a red-eyes black dragon. I do not think Meteor B Dragon will actually help me here. It, actually I think it would. But I've been grinding like for freaking ever. So there's nothing I can do about that now. Okay, let's see what tricks he's got up his sleeve. Defending! Okay. If you're gonna go that route. Actually, let me try... Yeah, we're good enough. I don't want to empty my hand too quickly. It's a Labyrinth Wall that also has 3,000 attack points. Thankfully, it doesn't have the advantage on the sea. Oh, I should have had a Pluto one ready. I don't have any dragons on the go. Wait a minute, if I attack him with 
have an Ari attack. Uh, oh my god, I might actually win. Because that's Neptune, set it to Pluto. And then just destroy this guy. Oh my god, are we going to win that quickly? I only needed three turns. Holy crap, that was a massacre! <laughs> lucky Trinket. Which ironically makes me unlucky. You are powerful. But you don't stand a chance against the power of Master Heishin. And I get the Millennium Necklace! Okay, so the only items left... Wait, there's only five shrines. And he's got the Millennium Rod. So there's the Millennium Ring... ...and the Millennium Key, if I recall. Yep, those are the two Millennium Items remaining. And they are in the Mountain Shrine... ...and the Forest Shrine. I think we've done enough right now. Like, we've actually made some progress despite still having a moratorium on Meteor B-Dragons. But, at the end of the day, if we are still winning, that's all I care about. If it gets to the point where I actually have to go through, like, the final part of the game without a Meteor B-Dragon, it's going to be a nightmare. No pun intended. <sighs> so, in the next episode, we'll be going through the next two shrines. See ya, everybody.